Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about the book Honor Before Glory. Um, that is a book about the Japanese Americans in World War II who saved the lost battalion of the Texas National Guard. And I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to give away the book. I highly encourage you guys to read it. But, okay, one thing the book did note that I really like and really want to talk about is that the 100th Infantry Battalion, 442nd, Regimental combat team were a bunch of brave soldiers and for them to rescue the Texas National Guard They had to sustain heavy casualties. Okay, a typical army company or a typical company in the army is between 80 and 150 men well After the battle was over when they rescued the Texas National Guard company I of the 100th Infantry Battalion 442nd Regimental Combat Team they only had eight survivors Okay, Company K didn't fare much better. They didn't. They sustained heavy casualties, and only 17 men from Company K survived, and that was 17 out of between between 80 and 150 men. And I Company, it was eight between 80 and 150 men that survived. So that is how heroic the 100th Infantry Battalion, 442nd Regimental Combat Team was. As most of you guys know, it was composed of Japanese Americans. It was a segregated unit and segregated army at the time. The U.S. military was largely segregated during World War II, but that changed in 1948, as I pointed out. And one of the heroic actions was a medic by the name of Jim o Okubo. He died in 1967 in a car wreck. When he was in World War II, he found an American tank, and the American tank was burning, it was damaged, and it had a wounded soldier in there. He realized he couldn't treat the soldier in the tank, so he grabbed the soldier from the tank and ran about 75 yards to safety, carrying the American soldier on his shoulders. And he was awarded the Silver Star in World War II, but he was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor in 2000, the Congressional Medal of Honor. And it shouldn't have been the Silver Star to begin with. Um, it should have been the Medal of Honor. Um, and, the, and the book talks about that. Um, yes, his race was largely a reason why he didn't get the Medal of Honor in the first place, but it was corrected. And that's why I love this country. It was a corrected injustice, and the injustice was corrected. And it does discuss the actions of Saddam Menomore. If I mispronounce the gentleman's name, I apologize. He was the only one that initially won the Congressional Medal of Honor. Um, and he won it during World War II. And, but eventually, 27 Japanese Americans from the 100th Infantry Battalion, 442nd Regimental Combat Team, were awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. Um, so like I said, I highly encourage people to, to read the book. Um, one of the engagements, it talks about a guy named Kenji Takubo. He was not a medic, but he saw a wounded soldier, and he went and crawled and got the soldier to safety. He had to carry the, he had to drag the soldier about 30 yards. But hours later, he was killed because flying pieces of wood um, went all through his body because our, our German artillery hit a, major tree, a large tree near him, and it blew the tree to smithereens, and the pieces of wood went flying at him. Um, just a sad situation, but Kenji Takubo was a hero, plain and simple. So again, I highly encourage people to read this book. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye.